I've just realized today that I did yesterday's workout thinking it was today's workout. I'm two days behind technically, so tomorrow's gonna be fun. Today was the most difficult workout I've had to get through since starting this whole challenge. I don't know what it is, I'm just feeling so fatigued and lacking energy. I got a good solid amount of sleep in last night. I'm not really sure, maybe I'm coming down with something, but I did finish the workout. I skipped out on the cool down. I'm just gonna do my own stretches. Let's do this workout. I feel so happy right now because my workout is over. Yeah, I know I'm trying to talk in a general American accent. I'm sorry if I'm offending anybody, but the workout's done. I'm gonna go shower and get my dinner ready. Bye. God, it doesn't look too good. Hi, internet people. Let's have a chat. But first, it's been an interesting two weeks. I have to say the last week was the most challenging for me. This week I snacked a lot. I also had some work-related changes, so my routine was a bit different. I was very tired just exhausted. I found that I was focusing a lot on the workouts more than I was with my nutrition, what I was eating. I didn't have a lot of time to record what I was eating this week. Overall, I think this whole week was pretty good and I'm really glad that I finished this challenge as well as my increased appetite. I slept a lot better and I think that's because I was just exhausted. I worked parts of my body that I normally don't and some of the exercises that Chloe was doing were new to me. I think it's very important to remember the message that I want to convey here is that this is a step towards a journey of introducing more strength-based exercises into my routine. I strengthened muscles that I didn't even know existed and I challenged myself not only physically but mentally and emotionally. My week seven results will be on the screen so you can see the changes. I am losing centimeters but I'm also gaining weight. As you saw from my before and afters, I don't see a huge significant difference. I wasn't expecting one. I do feel stronger and I do notice that my clothes feel looser even though the scale's saying I'm going up and down. My centimeters meters are slowly decreasing and this is what it's about. It's supposed to be a lifestyle change. It's supposed to take time. This is what I'm reminding myself. It's not going to be drastic and that's okay. You just need to keep going. So this is a friendly reminder to anybody on a weight loss, fat loss, fitness journey. Just keep sticking to it. The results will come. You just have to have the patience. I'll see you next week at my two month mark.